Welcome to this demo about Platform 9's managed Kubernetes product. When you log in to the Platform 9 sandbox, you will see resources allocated for OpenStack and Kubernetes. Platform 9 is well known for providing managed OpenStack. You may have heard about us at the last OpenStack Summit. OpenStack provides a great way to run your private cloud. Some applications, especially modern ones, can run more efficiently in containers since only the application and its dependencies are packaged and run. With a the container, there's no overhead of packaging the operating system, which saves resources on your host. Let us now take a look at the infrastructure tab for managed Kubernetes. Platform 9's managed Kubernetes product provides orchestration of containers across your data center, private, and public clouds. Managed Kubernetes provides a number of interesting features. Instead of covering everything that is available to you, let me show you a couple of features I think are really cool. Platform 9 can make it easy for you to deploy and manage Kubernetes in hybrid and multi-cloud environments. IT administrators and DevOps teams can also create pods, deployments, and services using declarative YAML templates. Finally, Platform 9 provides access to an intuitive CLI for administrators to interact with Kubernetes directly from their browser. So let's get started. In the Infrastructure tab, you see Compute, Memory, Storage, and Networks. What's really interesting about these numbers is that they are an aggregation of resources from all your clouds on Amazon, on-premises, and other clouds for which we are enabling capabilities. Let's take a look at our infrastructure for this sandbox. As you can see, there is a Kubernetes cluster on AWS and a second cluster deployed on Platform 9's data center. Now let's say you have two data centers in three regions managed in-house and four availability zones in two regions on AWS. You can easily imagine how it's going to become tedious to manage resources in such a scenario. Using Platform 9, will simplify the monitoring and management of resources in your multi-cloud and hybrid cloud environment. To deploy on AWS, you can go to Cloud Providers and select Add New Cloud Provider. Currently, we support Amazon Web Services only, which you can use by providing your access key and secret key. We are working to enable other public cloud options. In order to deploy in your data center or private cloud, you would install the Platform 9 agent on your server and authorize the node. Let us now take a look at pods and deployments for Kubernetes. A pod is a group of one or more containers, the shared storage for those containers, and options about how to run the containers. I have a YAML file here that shows two containers that share a common storage resource. Let me go ahead and paste this text and create the pod on Platform 9. As you can see, the pod is in creation. While it's creating, let us also go ahead and create a deployment. A deployment provides declarative updates for pods. You only need to describe the desired state of a deployment object and the deployment controller will change the actual state to the desired state for you. As with pods, deployments and services can also use the sample YAML template to deploy a simple application. Let us use the default YAML template this time. Our resource is now in creation. You can see that this resource includes three pods. After a few seconds, we see that the pod and deployment have been created successfully. Your IT team can create their orchestrated containers in private cloud, public cloud, or data center infrastructure using pods, deployments, and services. The final feature I want to demonstrate is the command line interface. In order to use all the features Kubernetes can offer, Platform 9 offers the CLI. Let us delete our pods and deployments. We first get our pods and deployments using the kubectl get pods and kubectl get deployments commands. I delete the pod using the kubectl delete pods command as shown on the screen. Next, I delete the nginx deployment using the kubectl delete deployments command. After a few seconds, the pod and deployment have been deleted. 
That concludes this demo about features of Platform 9's managed Kubernetes product and their value to you. We walk through the aggregated view of Platform 9's managed Kubernetes infrastructure tab, pods and deployments, two ways to roll out and manage your modern applications, and Platform 9 CLI for Kubernetes. This demo was created using Platform 9's Sandbox. Sign up for your free Sandbox environment on platform9.com and experience these and other values with Platform 9's Managed Kubernetes product.